Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Umineko. Last time, Maria said some stuff and everybody got mad at her. We also found out that our good old friend Cannon died, and, uh, we're not doing too well in terms of people. Yeah. Not great. As I said this, I pointed out the clock to everyone. It was already 8 o'clock at night. We had been receiving shocks over and over again since the early morning, and both our bodies and our minds were completely tired out. There was still a long, long time until tomorrow. We needed to find some place to barricade ourselves in so that we could rest our bodies, and even get the smallest amount of relief. <laughs> That's what it seems like. They seem to have some ability to get into any place. You know, assuming that it isn't, you know, a witch and that they can just float through walls, of course. <laughs> In fact, that actually sounds highly likely if it was in fact a person that they could get a master key from them if they'd killed them. There were many servants serving the Ushiramiya family. Because of that, there were several master keys. Furthermore, every time the shifts changed, the keys were passed between the servants. And we had to acknowledge that this had probably gotten a bit sloppy at times in the past. What about the master's room? Isn't there only one of those keys? I guess maybe they got some backups, I don't know. At least the first three were supposed to be backups. ひょっとすると、おばさんのライフル銃がよく思考家として成立してるのかもしれないぜ。なら良いのですが。ああ。マリア、言いたいことがあるんだろうが、そいつは飲み込んでしばらく黙ってろ。おお。Maria probably wanted to say that witches weren't afraid of things like guns or something like that. But if she were to say it out loud, the atmosphere would start to get pretty edgy. I had noticed and decided to put a stop to it. Well, that's what I said, yeah. That the only person that has a key for that would be Genji and... I'm assuming Kinto himself. So, you know, honestly, it might not even be safe if they gotten a key off Kinto. Well, they got a bathroom and everything in there. They should be just fine. 
常に私がもう一本は親方様がお持ちでしたが But, you know, whoever, whoever killed him could have gotten the key. There's something. Ginji san took a handkerchief out of his pocket and opened it, showing us the burnt and filthy key to the study. Oh, okay. Well, then we have both of the keys, assuming that, you know, there isn't weird, you know, witch magic and stuff for opening doors. <laughs> ソサイノルスは必ず守るようにと仰せつけられておりました。なるほど。ということは、金蔵さんの書斎は唯一の安全地帯というわけですな。そういうことになりますね。あの怪しげな匂いの部屋に一晩も立てこもるなど、考え、
ありがとう南條先生私はお父様の書斎に移るべきだと思います確かにお父様が連れ出された可能性があり絶対の安全が保証されているわけではないしかしバトラ君の推理のお父様が何らかの方法で自ら書斎を出て外で襲われた可能性も否定できません A while back, I proposed that strange theory. However, just as Aunt Eva had said, even though that trick would work, I can't explain what motive could have made Grandfather do something so awkward and then sneak out of his own study. And Grandfather couldn't have used that trick unless he'd known that the receipt was wedged in the door. Aunt Eva hadn't pointed out that last part, but it's clear how absurd the theory was. Then, does that mean, as Aunt Eva claimed, that the door was sealed and the room was closed? Is it a doubtless fact that Aunt Natsumi was the culprit, and that the room was a closed room? If Auntie were here now, she would probably make that claim openly and blow my strange theory away. But anyway, I had to admit that a room with both a bed and a toilet that all eight people could be shut up in. And with only two keys, one of which were gathered here, had to be the safest place in the mansion right now. Or both of which, yeah. At the very least, I figured this would be better than just staying shut up in the parlor and hoping nothing would go wrong. But wait, have we been safe only because we've been shut up in the parlor? What if leaving that room and moving to an unexplored location is actually more dangerous? Ah, it's useless. It's useless. It's all useless. My flimsy head is about to break out in a fever. If I keep turning the chessboard over, right and wrong will keep switching with each other over and over, and I won't be able to believe anything. When it seems like the culprit is one of the 18, I want to believe in Beatrice. And once I start believing in Beatrice, I start wanting to find the culprit amidst the 18. If that keeps spinning around forever, in the end, my thoughts won't have taken one step from where they started. Isn't that right? <laughs> It feels like we haven't gotten very far, honestly, in doing anything. We've killed, we honestly, we've stepped backwards. People have been dying, and we haven't made a single step towards anything. We're kind of just hoping we can wait it out, but. According to the epitaph, or not epitaph, what is that? Story, whatever. Riddle? Yes. That we were told that everyone's basically gonna die and you can't. That doesn't just quite work. How far back in the past was it that Kyrie san taught me this chessboard way of thinking? That concept of examining the situation by turning it over and thinking from the enemy side. I get the feeling that I was so interested in this way of thinking at the time that I let it guide the way I thought about everything. By the way, Kiri san was dad's co worker back then. I hadn't dreamt that the day would come when she would be added to our family. Didn't Kiri san tell me something? Like what? I get the feeling she once said that while this chessboard thinking was one way to look at things, it clearly wasn't all powerful, and it wouldn't be good to rely on it too much. チェス版思考ってのはね昔本で読んだゲーム理論というものを私なりに解釈したものよとても面白い学問だからバトラ君も大学に入ったら挑戦してみるといいわよぜひやってみたいっすそれを勉強してチェス版思考をもっと鍛えたらどんな相手の手の内も読めるみたいで楽しいじゃないっすかでもね盲信し,しちゃダメよゲーム理論は非常に奥深く複雑な学問なのチェス版思考はその上辺だけを私なりに解釈した考え方に過ぎないバトラ君が想像するほどに相手の手の内を読み切るには相当の勉強が必要よしかもチェス版理論は応用の利く便利なものではあっても完璧ではない便利ではあっても弱点が多い弱点ええチェス版思考の基礎はゲーム理論
ゲーム理論は突き詰めると数学に行き着くの数学の弱点は何か知ってるノイズよ In math, when you write 1 plus 1 equals 2, that process will always result in 1 plus 1 equals 2, no matter how many billions of years pass. Nothing more, nothing less. That's because there's absolutely no noise mixed in. But for example, unlike math, the Japanese language has noise mixed in. Kanji are a good example. Old kanji and new kanji are slightly different. Which represents an introduction of noise created by the change between time periods. Isn't history the same? There are dozens of policies that seem foolish in the modern era, but were meaningful at some point in the past. Because the rules of chess are fixed, when a pair of experts are discussing one particular layout, it's possible that they could reach the same conclusion, whether they're from 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future. However, if the rules of chess had gone through massive changes over time, it is possible that a discussion about the same layout would have changed as well. その通り。人の世の事象は本来ノイズだらけなのよ。人の感情だってそうでしょ全く同じことが起こったからといって、人は必ず決められた反応を示すとは限らない。それを数学の理論で当てはめ、相手の行動を読もうとする時点ですでに理論には弱点と限界があることを知らなければならない手っ取り早く言うとチェス盤思考はノイズや気まぐれそして弱点、yeah. 認識ミスに非常に弱いの Just like I was talking about、uh, last time incorrect knowledge you know <laughs> having the incorrect knowledge like having an unreliable narrator in that sense is Dangerous because if you try to, if you try to use, like,、uh, for example,、um, the thing about the, un the unreliable narrator that's the most annoying part about it is that generally in a story, the narrator is seen as 100% correct, and anything that they state is correct without fail. So when you get, so, so you, you'd use it in your calculations, like, let's say, you know, a, a murder mystery. You'd use it in your calculations. You know, if the narrator said so and so was killed, then you're going to believe that so and so was killed. Or if so and so had blood on their shirt, you're going to believe so and so had blood on their shirt. But what if they didn't? That's the, that's the big thing is that if they didn't, then you're going to make conclusions and start working off of those conclusions that may have had an incorrect foundation and incorrect knowledge. And that's why, that's why this chessboard thinking doesn't work all the time. That's right. Curious Anne definitely said that. Chess has always been a game where both sides play by the same rules and fight with the same conditions for victory. This is why it is possible for both sides to predict the other's moves. It's possible to read an opponent, because you can always suppose that they will advance with the best moves they can find. But what if. The opponent is fickle or a little, tired, a little tired and makes a move that can hardly be called the best. Maybe. What if the game actually has special rules? Only the enemy knows them and they can make use of something unknown to you. In fact, what if the opponent actually has some goal other than victory? Think from your enemy's perspective. That is the basis of chessboard thinking. Which means that if you misread your enemy, the answer that you draw from that process will be completely rubbish, useless. Many times, I thought that by using chessboard thinking, I could perceive the planes of a person hiding behind this case. However, I don't know anything about the culprit. Am I just playing in a labyrinth of thought? Definitely feels like that, doesn't it? Dangers of chessboard thinking. If Kiryu san were here at a time like this, she'd probably be able to notice something with her much, much sharper thinking ability. That's why they killed her off early. Jessica hated the thought of moving into Grandfather's study until the very last moment. But in the end, Aunt Natsui persisted, and we decided to move there. 
Everyone was already trapped by paranoia. Kumasawa-san had prepared dinner at one point, but after the case involving George Anaki's parents, the kitchen and the parlor had become devoid of people. Someone had said that it might have been death by poison. Because of that, we were even unable to touch the food that Kumasawa-san had taken the trouble to make for us. The manner in which the first six had been killed was unknown, but there was a possibility that it was poison. Of course, if this were the case, even a single person would be able to carry out the murder of six large adults. Furthermore, this idea made it seem like there was only a single culprit, who was afraid of Von Natsui's rifle. And this was very good for our emotional stability. But the fatigue and hunger were even harsher than we had imagined. Then, we all went along with Kumasawa-san's proposal to go together to the kitchen, and gathered some canned food, which would be hard to poison to take in with us. That's actually a really intelligent idea. All of Kumasawa-san's effort to reward us with just a little dinner on the savage day regrettably came to nothing. The food piled up on the serving cart looked just a little sad. This is an intelligent idea, and why do my text boxes always go away? Never understood that. Come back, text box. Aunt Natsui, who is in the lead, warily stared into the darkness with both eyes and the barrel and the barrel of the gun. Once we dragged ourselves up to the third floor, just as Aunt Natsui had warned us of beforehand, there was a mixture of a chemical smell and a sickly sweet aroma, a stench hanging in the air that felt like it was eating into our heads. It felt like the stench was floating out from this magnificent door. It was the door to the forbidden study, what should defend against anyone who would enter. While Genji-san was unlocking the door, Maria was staring at the door in the doorknob with great interest. すごいとは。古く生かしくて冗談の通じなさそうな。いかにもじいさまの書斎にふさわしい扉だよな。霊的な悪意を知り解ける力がたぶんベアトリーチャはこの扉を開けられないね。おお？それどういうことだ？マリ
ああその昨日私が母さんに渡したお守りはマリアにもらったものだったんだよドアノブにかけると魔除けになるとか言われて私より母さんの方がいいかなってあの時は思ってそうでしたかジェシカにしては変わったものを持っていると思っていました夏日おばさんがあれをドアノブに Oh, maybe Maria's gonna start, like, understanding things now. You be so kiki. Nerumaini, Tobira no Uchigawa no Doa no Buni Kakemashita. Nara, Nats Hiobasan. Oh, yes, Maria's connecting lines. Okay. We're moving somewhere. You be, Beatrice, and Nats Hiobasan, you be ippon, Fudera and Akata Darone. Beatrice, and Sasa, and Kuyashigata, don't know ya. Beatrice, annoyed? Couldn't lay one finger. Not till he thought back on that eerie scribble she had seen that morning. Like someone had been tearing at the outside of her door with blood soaked hands, and gasped in surprise. Could it be that this witch who called herself Beatrice had tried to enter through the door to Natsui's own room? But the magic repelling charm had been hanging from the inside. So she couldn't break through the door. So she was annoyed. So she scratched at it? So you are well, I mean, Cannon tried that and he got a nice dagger in the chest or whatever it is. Ice pick thing. Genji unlocked the door. Genji, you sure took your sweet time unlocking that door. Eight people entered Kinzo study. Anything suspicious happening in here? Grandfather's study. I'd heard rumors about it beforehand, but I was still shocked. He'd done nothing more than fortify it thoroughly with his occult hobbies. If Grandfather's hobby had been chasing after pop idols, these walls might be buried underneath the idol posters. Even if I didn't understand it, I did realize that this room was a bundle of all his hobbies. Even so, I couldn't help but remain dumbfounded by the stench of his creepy medicine and the sweet stench that seemed to melt my head. And uh, we're gonna stop right there and we'll come back to the next one. So be right back. <laughs>